Hey everyone, this is Serge from Edge Motors. We got a 2011 Audi A6 3.0 supercharged. And um, the original complaint is a uh, check engine light on. We have uh, codes for a secondary air injection, bank one and bank two, insufficient flow. We tested the air pump. The pump works, no problem. There is a pump relay in the plenum in the ECU box. The relay is fine, it's getting power. Everything's okay in that portion. We check the uh, secondary air injection uh, control valve solenoid for both sides, they're good. We check the combi valves, they're in the back of the heads over there. Those things are good. Uh, we run the basic settings for secondary air injection. It does not go through, so there's insufficient flow. Now there's a technical bulletin about the uh, secondary air injection ports being clogged by uh, by the carbon deposits. So you got one port on each side over here. We removed this, uh, there was a freeze plug in there covering the port. And if you look inside the port, you can't really see past the first cylinder over here. Now you got another port on that side, right over there. I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna have to take this uh, pipe off over here. Move the AC compressor out of the way. Now we're gonna take the down pipes off because number one, we're gonna be doing the flex pipes. And number two is we're gonna be washing and cleaning those ports right now. And that's gonna involve a lot of debris going into the catalytic converters, which we do not want to happen. So I'm gonna remove the down pipes, clean the, clean the ports up, and we should be good to go. So if you have problems with your secondary air injection, first check all the components in that system. If it still doesn't go through readiness and throws codes for the insufficient flow, this is very likely that's the problem. Audi does have a special tool for that. It's like a little power wash wand you stick in there and uh, cleans it out, washes the ports out. Um, the tool is pretty expensive, so you could use a very long uh, drill bit maybe, but just make sure you blow it out and clean it out afterwards real good. And uh, Audi does say does not say to remove the catalytic converters they just say to disconnect the mid pipe and uh, have the water drain out of the cats i would strongly suggest removing the cats because there will be a lot of carbon sent down the cats so to prevent the damage the catalytic converters i'll take the exhaust off there you go